right here. Check this out. Look at all of these Indian pursuits right here. So look, we're about to get on these bikes. They're going to take us to Julian, California. 130 mile ride round trip today. It's going to be an awesome day. Look at what I'm riding. Check this out. All right, so everybody got their helmets on. Don't want them waiting on me. Got to get going. It is a beautiful day today here in California, Temecula, California. Stayed at the um, Temecula Wine Resort. That is not the name of it, I will tell you, and probably insert it in text <laughs> on the video. But it is a beautiful day today here, and I'm really having a good time enjoying myself being, being here out on the Indian Pursuit. Listen, they fitted this bike out for me with the tall seat, and I can tell you now, it's so tall, so much room on this seat that I almost need, <laughs> almost need to be scooted up a little bit. I'm not using the full leg room of it. If this is your first time being on the channel, my name is Tall and this is YouTube channel Traveling Tall and we're riding the Indian Pursuit. First time being on this motorcycle. So far I like the flat black paint um, and I missed my opportunity to go around that car. The rest of the group is up ahead and looks like they're about to make their turn pretty soon. So anyway, my name is Tall. I just kind of went off, rant, off script here. My name is Tall and this is YouTube channel Traveling Tall and I'm having a fantastic time in beautiful, beautiful Temecula, California out riding this Indian pursuit. We're going today to Julian, California and we're gonna stop there and we're gonna get lunch. And then from there, we're going to um, make a loop and come back to Temecula. So guys, if you're new to this channel and you haven't seen my video talking about what I will be doing, well, I got to get very comfortable on this motorcycle because uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this thing here. And the reason why, I'm going to be going over 2,250 miles on this bike from beautiful California to the great state of Tennessee. Wait a minute, where's my navigation? Navigation, map, I just wanna see the map. Where's that at? There we go. Oh, I hate when it's like that. No, don't want that. Yes, always headed that way, yeah, I like that. So up front, they're making a left turn here. We got separated by some cars, but I'm not worried about it. Now it's time to catch back up to these guys. I don't want to go too fast because I don't know if it's a blind hill or not. Oh, they're cooking. Let's go. No blind hill. I can see them up. No blind stop. I can see them up ahead. Yep, but there's a section right there. Let's go. Look at this view, guys. This beautiful view. Now, this video, I'm going to be talking about this motorcycle as it comes to me. There's no script. Haven't learned anything about this bike um, because I've never watched anybody's video talking about the Pursuit. I didn't want to watch anybody's video talking about the Pursuit. I wanted to learn and give you guys my opinion of this bike myself as I ride it. So there will be way more technical videos and opinions about this motorcycle then this is what you're going to see but this is true first impression raw emotion without any uh prejudice or any perceived notions about the motorcycle and i can tell you so far the motorcycle is really doing good but haven't been more than five miles but this ride so far is beautiful so I'm closer to the back of the pack. I got Dan from Gears and Gadgets in front of me. He's on, me and him are on identical pursuits. And I, I don't know what road I'm on. Oh, Highway 79. That's pretty neat, this information on the side. 
4.3 mi I mean 4.3 on the volts, 180 degrees temperature, and the miles per hour, 52 miles per hour. I have it in sport mode. Guys, I went straight to sport mode. If this was my motorcycle, I'm gonna ride it in sport mode. There's no pretending. You guys know that I ride a performance bagger now. And sport mode is how I roll, so sport mode is what it's gonna be in. Now, on my trip back to Knoxville, the 2250 mile trip that I have, roughly two and a half days to do it in, I'll probably put it in touring mode because I'm gonna be on the interstate and I wanna make sure everything is um, as plush and comfortable as possible. But on this ride, it's in sport mode. And the way I'm sitting right now, I can tell you this, the windshield, the top windshield is directly in my line of vision. So I'm gonna have to move that up because that's, that's annoying. Wait a minute, why is it not moving? Maybe that's not the windshield thing. This is a good ride. I keep going to the shifter because I want to change it into another gear, but I'm in six gear. And it's nothing against the motorcycle, it's just I'm not used to the sound of this motor yet. I feel like it's running at a higher RPM. So I keep trying to go into a six gear, but I'm at the top gear now. My RPMs is about 3000 RPMs. Thirty two hundred RPMs and I'm running seventy five miles per hour. Would you look at this view? I mean my god, this is beautiful. Yeah, oh <laughs> the reason why I couldn't get the windshield up, I was on the wrong side. This is the windshield. There we go. Let's raise that up a little bit. Got the windshield raised up. Now that is not, the top of this windshield was is not in my line of view anymore. But I don't like it as much <laughs> with the windshield up like that. I like the air. Let's put that back down and feel some good air. Yeah, and it looks cooler. Nobody wants all that stuff all in the way. You ride a motorcycle because you wanna feel the breeze. Well, most people do. On my bike, I have a very sharp windshield. And even on this one, there was uh, Indian Pursuit that had, oh my God, look at that view. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. But uh, <laughs> an Indian Pursuit that I had, it was, uh, I mean, that I saw the other day, it had a short Clockworks windshield on it. And that's what I would do. I'd have a tenant Clockworks windshield on the bike. Now this bike has automatic ride adjustment. I haven't gotten to that yet. That'll be something I do when I stop and show you. Truthfully, I'm not familiar with it. They'll show me how to do it. They said that if I put all of the, um, I gotta put my information in the bike and then to set the bike according to the weight. So even when I put my luggage on there, it's supposed to adjust and set. Uh, according to the weight to to make it ride and handle the best so I haven't did that yet and the only other Indian that I spent a lot of time on was the Indian Challenger which this bike is very close to the Challenger I thought when they first came out with this bike that it's going to be just a Challenger with a tour pack on it and lowers by the way I love the lowers I love the way the lowers look but it's so much more than a tour pack and lowers. With that suspension, the automatic adjustable suspension. And I like with the lowers, you can adjust them with your foot on the fly. So I have them completely open right now because I have the air coming in. And by the way, there's no um, radiator, no liquid cooling, nothing like that inside the lowers. It's just all for to keep the, the wind off of your legs and you will definitely appreciate lowers in the wintertime. 
and I like the way lowers look. I think lowers on the Challenger would have really made the bike look more finished in my opinion. I'm a guy who puts lowers on touring bikes. My bike has lowers on it. The tour pack, the tour pack is big enough to put two helmets in it, but I'm not 100% sure I like the design and the look of the tour pack. So, come on, I'd like to get into some real curves. Man, this is beautiful. It's one of those roads that you don't want to look off to the right or to the left too long because a curve will come up on you and then you'll be off the road in no time. So, but I love this scenery, beautiful scenery. But yeah, and I'll explain when I'm talking about the tour pack. The tour pack, the actual, the actual body part of the tour pack looks pretty good. The frame that the tour pack sits on, not a huge fan of that. That's what I'm saying, I'm not a huge fan of. All right, so we're just cruising. I don't know how far, I should have put it in the navigation. I don't know how far it is to Julian, California, but I know that they said Julian, California is known for their pie, right? I don't eat apple pie, don't tell anybody. Everybody's been telling me how good this pie is. I don't eat pie, so uh, I, uh, I'll uh, <laughs> just go and film the pie for you pie lovers, but I don't eat it, so I can't tell you how good it is. All right, I'm gonna come back in a little bit. I'm gonna come back in a little bit, so uh, I'm gonna get off here. I know as soon as I do, the road is gonna be just that much better. But yeah, let me uh, just pause this video here. Hit the rev limiter. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Boy, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> 